As we have indicated over the course of the last few years, agriculture and health, in my opinion, were the stepchildren of independent Barbados. And to that extent, the declines that we have seen over the course of the last five decades have to be arrested if we are to be true to being able to maintain ourselves and to ensure that we are not totally dependent on others for the most basic needs of life, which is food and water. There is no way that we can proceed in a world that is facing the existential crisis of climate without better preparing our citizens and ensuring that the knowledge that is necessary for people to continue the practice of good husbandry and in terms of increasing yields for crops can in fact be shared with our citizens. Similarly, we have accepted that Barbados has the potential to be a major agro-processing site with its expertise and its, its advantages in logistics as compared to most other countries in the region. To that extent, in addition to deepening our levels of production, we want to be able to supplement it with access to produce from Guyana, from Suriname, and from other Caribbean countries, because if we can reach the levels of international certification and export with the level of flights and maritime vessels that we have coming to us on a weekly basis, then we believe that there can be a bright future to trigger further growth in this economy in the area of agro-processing. I'd like to commend the University of the West Indies with respect to understanding that research is going to be critical. Netherlands is not a large country. In fact, the Netherlands is smaller than Suriname, in spite of the fact that the Netherlands has 17 million people and Suriname has 580,000. But the Netherlands is a global leader in the production of food, and in fact, may be in the top three producers globally of food. That tells us all that we need to know that our ambition to be able to in significantly increase food production in this country must be buttressed not by the plantation model of agriculture, but by an infusion of technology and capital and passion on the part of our citizens while reinforced by global certification to ensure that we can do much, much more in a more effective and efficient way, taking care of our own needs for food security but at the same time, ensuring a platform for expanded economic opportunities and exports. The other major frontier for us as we go forward will be in the area of aquaculture and mariculture. And we've made it absolutely clear that a country that has this level of tourism profile and exposure cannot continue to simply see itself as importing all of its needs, but can in fact produce enough for ourselves and the rest of the region in terms of prawns and in terms of other types of fish, um, both in terms of freshwater fish and ocean fish. Barbados may be a small island developing state, but it is a large ocean state and must come to accept, therefore, that the development of its maritime resources is absolutely critical while ensuring that there is no overfishing and depletion of stocks in a way that will cause the world to suffer. So committed are we to this journey that the Ministry of Agriculture has received in the estimates of expenditure and revenue which have been passed by the Parliament and will be applicable from Monday or technically Saturday. But technically, what it will do is see the construction of a new tissue center lab um, tissue culture lab, sorry, for the Ministry of Agriculture to be able to significantly expand its research and to be able to provide the considerably greater amounts of planting material necessary in order to move to industrial scale in this country with respect to certain crops. The Ministry of Agriculture has chosen sweet potatoes and peppers as the first two crops that it would like to see this significant expansion in. And with respect to both, there are considerable global markets, not to mention the continued 
desire domestically and regionally for these produce. I believe that this partnership here is just the beginning of other partnerships. We have already in discussion with the Kingdom of the Netherlands for technical expertise and cooperation in areas of agriculture and water. And we are only this weekend, I made contact with the Chancellor of the University of Guelph and their Director of External Services to facilitate further cooperation between the government of Barbados and I hope the University of the West Indies as we go forward to ensure that we will be globally cutting edge in research in the few areas that we choose to do it. We do not need to be a jack of all trades, but we do need to master a few. And why? This is the country that led the world in research in cane breeding in the 19th century. This is the country that was responsible for the development of the grapefruit as a cross between the shaddock and the orange. And it cannot be acceptable that having done all of that work, that we now at a time when technology is even more aggressively leading the way for research in agriculture, that we are not among those to be counted in the race.